guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a video slash series with a different kind of format. The other day, a lovely subscriber, Kaylee, was on my Facebook page and suggested that I start doing videos once a month where I take suggestions from subscribers, where they will offer up three to four items that they would like to see me do a quick first impressions review kind of video on. I thought this was an awesome idea because it involves you. I love any chance I can get to talk with you guys and get to know you better, see what you have in your collection and what you want to see more of from me. So awesome idea, Kaylee. Thank you so much. And she happens to be our lovely subscriber of the week, month, actually. This is, I plan on doing this as a monthly kind of thing. Hopefully the first week of the month, if all goes right. Um, but yeah, that also means that I would love suggestions as to what you would like this called, like sub super subscribe. I don't know. I don't know. Leave your suggestions in the comment section because, um, yeah, I don't really know what to call this. So Kaylee gave me the choice of three products and they were the L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner 24 Hour in Blackest Black, the CoverGirl Blast Flick Blast Flipstick Blendable Lip Color Duo and Stunner, and uh, the All My Intense Eye Color Liquid Shadow and Color Primer for Hazel Eyes. So I went ahead and ended up choosing the CoverGirl Blast Flipstick, that is a mouthful, Blendable Lip Duo because gradient lips and kind of duo-toned lips are going to be very in for the spring, so I thought this would be a cool product to kind of try and review and let you know if it's worth um, the trendy hype, I guess. So on the one side of Stunner, you have a an orangey leaning red. It's not not quite orange, but it definitely has, it's it's definitely not a blue based red. And on the other end, you have what is kind of a peachy, well, it's really gold. It's just has lots of shimmer. It's peach, um, but you can tell it has kind of a peachy base kind of thing. So this is going to be a really great color, color for summer again, because it's that orangey very bright and summery. So let's just get cracking. I think um, I think what I'll do is start with the ready end and use that as kind of a base slash outer whatever. And I think the appeal of these is that they are they're not only kind of there to give you that gradient effect, but they're a two in one as well. So you can have just an orangey red lip or just a gold kind of lip. So we'll see how this goes. So here we go. Is that glitter? I think there's glitter, like full on glitter in this. Hmm. So it's, it's smooth when, you know, it has some slip when you rub your lips together, but it's definitely not smooth going on. There's a little bit of pull. It doesn't look super hydrating. You know, you can kind of see um, lip lines. It doesn't, it's not super flattering to those, although it doesn't make them look super dry and cakey. There are some definite glitters in here. There's like silver, glittery ness all up in here. So that's something to be aware of, which means that you have what I thought was kind of a um, cream or matte thing on this side, but you actually have two sides that are shimmer. So if you don't mm -hmm. like shimmer, you might not like that. See, hopefully this is pigmented enough to kind of show up and show a difference. Hmm. First of all, it's a lot smoother than the red end. It's not nearly as grainy. Um, I also wouldn't say it's as pigmented, but it does give like a really, it's definitely gold. I mean, and, and despite, I thought this would be far more shimmery, but I think it comes off as more of a metallic sort of finish. Very interesting. So now because I do have a little bit of time, I know this is supposed to be a first impressions kind of video, but I hate to review a lipstick and not say something about the lasting time. I'm going to take about a solid half hour to drink my morning coffee, do a few things, and I'll return back here to let you know what I think of the lasting, you know, just a smidgen of the lasting power. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so here we are half an hour later. I ha I've had a cup of coffee. I haven't eaten anything, um, but drinking still, I mean, that does, that puts a lot of wear on your lipstick. And I have to say, I'm Pretty, I'm kind of impressed with the, the amount this has stayed on, especially the gold color because it was so sheer. I expected it to be virtually non-existent, especially since that's right where your drinks or whatever kind of go. It has a lot of traffic right in that area of the lips. And it's still it's still pretty much there for the most part. Some of the sheen has gone down, but the, both products are still very obviously on my lips. And that's pretty impressive. So overall thoughts in this first impressions video of the CoverGirl Blast Blast Flipstick Blendable Lip Duo. I'm never going to get that right. Um, it's an okay product. You figure you get two lip products. They don't seem, um, it doesn't seem like you get a lot of product compared to like what you would get in a full-size lipstick from one of these, from another drugstore brand. Um, 
so you are saving a little bit of money but not a ton and considering um, the texture in the red wasn't as creamy as I would have liked it to be it is a little kind of gritty and it does have that shimmer I mean it's like outright silver glitter almost um, it's not it might not necessarily be the duo for me now if you're going to be very into the duo color lips whether it's the gradient or whatever for the spring and summer this might be a good investment for you because it's two for one it's very portable carry it around throw it in your purse you have both lip colors in one product but in terms of quality um, they stayed obviously I guess it just comes down to if you're a big texture person and whether or not you care so much for the shimmer glitter stuff that's in this so the other thing you have to think about is whether you're going to wear um, kind of the the shimmery or off shade by itself because then you really are just buying it for the ability to layer both at the same time as opposed to having this three-in-one kind of thing where you can wear one color individually or blend them both together in a unique combination because truthfully I would never wear this gold shade by itself more often than not I would wear this red shade so um, you know you, you pay what you pay but then if you don't use all of one color then you're not getting all of your money's worth and so you just kind of have to weigh that whether it's more beneficial to you know pay that for this to get two products in one or go into your lip collection get a lip liner you love get a lipstick you love and do it yourself that's something you have to weigh yourself but in terms of quality I would say they're they're pretty decent the staying power is good the texture is just a little off so those are my five. I feel like I'm not very good at on the spot kind of um, first impressions reviews because I'm so scattered. I take a while to form my opinions, but it is what it is. That's what I think of the CoverGirl Flip Blast Tip thing. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And don't forget, please leave your suggestions. Like I said, I hope to have one of these up the first week of every month, and I would love to feature you as a subscriber. So if you could go to my Facebook page or Twitter, any of the social media links I have in the bottom bar go there and leave your suggestions because I would love to hear them and feature you that's kind of nice so that's it for me I hope you guys enjoyed this new video format thank you so much to Kaylee for suggesting it I'm loving it I love this kind of this idea this concept and I hope to hear from you guys you know wherever I just all those social places I just mentioned or in the comments below wherever you want to leave it just leave it thank you so much for watching guys please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye